Hello. This time we're going to be talking about functions. Uh, first off, I need to make a little correction from my first video. And I didn't correct it in my second video because I was just trying to go quickly for that one. Um, in this... In the declaration of your main function, you need to... In order for it to be truly standard, you need to either have these brackets here or you need to have another asterisk here. Uh, either or, and I'm sorry I just hit the mic, um, I forget it's there sometimes. Um, but in order for it to be truly standard, you need one of those two there, and you can pick. Uh, I, I deleted a lot of the filler junk that was in our file, um, added a bunch. Um, like I said, this time we're talking about functions. Um, Th this is our goal right here. This is what we want to work. We want to uh, declare our two variables, our two integers, and go ahead and get A and B from the user. And then we want to output those two added together. And um, since I'm always using functions like this, it seems like with you guys. I wanted to go and show you what it would look like if if I used the, the function to put it actually into a variable like this instead of just stri straight sending it out to the screen. So we would take our, our variable and make sure that it's of the, the, the right uh, return type and we would set it equal to and then we would put the function and then you can't you can't forget your semicolons or else you're not going to be a happy camper. And just to prove that it actually did set it, we then output um, the new the new value of a. So now we have to make this function work. Um, first thing to remember is that with functions, <coughs> well, okay, with with anything in C plus plus, you first uh, see the the compiler is gonna is going to read this just like you would a book. So it's going to go from the top down to the bottom. So, if we don't put at least a proto prototype or a, or a declaration of the function um, before we start trying to use it, the compiler is going to throw you an error and say, uh-uh, I, I have no idea what that is. So if we tried to do this down here at the bottom of the file without um, prototyping it or, uh, or declaring it right here, um, it, it's going to complain pretty loud. I tend to put my my functions above the main simply because main once you get once you get more advanced um, tends to only have one or two lines in it. Uh, like I, I'm not kidding. Seriously, you you have one or two lines in it. You might call an um, initialization function and uh, a loop, uh, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, next time we'll probably either get into arrays or classes. Um, if there's something that you guys want me to talk about, please, 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 uh, that you like know the buzzword for, please tell me. Um, comment, let me know what you guys want to learn. Um, I will be happy to to weave things that way. And as we get more advanced, I'm going to start um, gearing things more towards game programming simply because, well, that's what I do. So. Um, Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and open the code block so, it, uh, so that the compiler knows that okay, whenever we call this function of name add, um, it's going to read this code. Don't forget, this is our return type, so w um, whenever we return data from this function, it's going to be of the type integer. That's just letting the compiler know, you know what to expect, um, set the memory up accordingly. And it's going to bring in to our. Uh, we're going to be able to uh, bring in the parameters into our function a and b, which are both integers. Okay, so um, we could set up a bunch of um, placeholding uh, or uh, temporary variables, and you know, set a equal to this one and b equal to this one, and then um, make temp3 equal to those two added together. Um, but that's
that's gonna end up being, and then of course returning um, temp three. But if, if that, that's two variables that we really don't need, because we've already got those two those two um, variables stored in these variables right here that we brought in from our from our um, the, the calling of it. So we can just delete these two. That's not what I meant to do. Forget this is a terminal sometimes. Okay, so no, we can say A plus B, and that would work. Um, but again, we don't n really need that temporary. Um, what we can do is we can just um, We can just straight return. Close this thing so the new one. A plus B. And we've completely eliminated all of those temporary variables. Now the important part about this is every time you call this function, if you have those temporary variables, it's going to be eating up memory. It's gonna put that it's gonna allot that memory for those variables every time you call this function. Um, now that not that's not a whole lot for you know three integers, but when you start getting into bigger and bigger data sets, it's going to matter. So the the general rule of thumb is if you can if you can the the fewer very or the the fewer temporary variables you can use the better. So if you can use none, perfect. There's uh, it's, it, it would be hard to, to make this um, more memory efficient, this function. Um, so, there are ways to optimize it um, faster than this, um, speed-wise, but we'll get into macros later, and inline functions. So now, our function has its code. It's got everything it needs. We've got the function down here. Um, hopefully you remembered 10 seconds ago when I explained how that worked. So, we're just gonna compile it. Compile's fine, and let's see if it works. We're gonna do a really simple math problem. Two plus three. And look at it, wouldn't you know? It equals five. And if you notice, A is equal to five. So, it got set equal to the product, or the addition, or the sum, whatever, um, of that as well. So, let me know what you uh, what you guys want to learn, and uh, have a good day. God bless you.